things are getting very quiet. This stuff must be getting intense. <laughs> Not intense, just the like, facts of things doing. I'm hitting the mineral cap. Yeah, micromanaging, yeah. Micromanaging Construction while complete. Same problem you had, Mordred, except I didn't um, have my army destroyed, I just had it a long way over the other side of the Empire. Oh, <laughs> that's why that war's taking a while then. Yeah, it's, they're just walking from one side of the galaxy to the other. Fair enough. Although I've managed to get 60 war power just by destroying the space force. Not bad. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Found the navy, science ship. <laughs> One science ship. Yeah, it's bouncing around. He's just scouting out your fleet for the uh, main fleet to come in and smash you. Uh, and just the, the Rothax have a thousand power. They have about two thousand, two thousand, yeah, two thousand, and just destroyed that one. Science ship has strayed too close, it's now going to die. System survey complete. Wow. Ooh. Interesting. The alliance is crumbled. I needed the return to the influence because the factions aren't growing too bad with me. Oh, fair enough. That was very timid, Mordred. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's legit. Factions can be a problem. No, no. True. You're, you're, the way you said, oh, fair enough. What do you expect me to say? <laughs> Attack! <laughs> <laughs> I, I just didn't expect you to sound so worried. I wasn't. I was actually trying to work out how I can get more colonies. <laughs> I had my mind on different things. Well, the Yaz clocks, um, they have a fair few planets. Go for it. So does the uh, Pujok? Yeah, yeah, the Pujok when you were gone. The, uh, I had a good time with them. <laughs> Real good time. I think I'm negative 320 with them now. Tell me again why we went into a federation. It's okay, <laughs> they're really far away. From and don't yeah. worry, after like 50 years, they'll be okay with me. <laughs> they'll only be like negative whatever. Yeah, see, I don't know if it was a bug or, or what, but they sent me three messages all at once, two of which were identical. They were just the same thing. And the third one, which was the normal greeting, right? And um, 
you know, because these guys are like the keepers of knowledge, they had saw like I had researched stuff and they weren't very happy with me. Um, and so I had to uh, either comply or say, screw you guys. But I had to do it twice. So it, both of them counted. <laughs> I, I don't really understand why that happened. Maybe you've got two bits of technology that they don't like. Uh, maybe, but they were the identical messages and uh, the identical like ramifications, so I was really confused. I don't know. Maybe they just don't like you. Well, they definitely don't like me now. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, they're not they're not three hundred, they're they're two hundred and eighty now, they're coming around. Backless joined. Who is it that's doing all that AI something. research? That was I chaos. Do. Well, I think everybody's done a mixture. I don't actually have access to droids, but I've done some other research. I got droids. And it's lucky you guys are really far away from the Poo's Jock successor state then. Yeah, I know. Research nothing complete. good comes from exploring space because, like I said, before <laughs> that, they didn't know about me, I didn't know about them. Then I encountered him, and they're all like, man, we don't like you. I'm like, oh. Well, okay, then. I had that problem in a single-player game. I was happily colonizing planets. What I didn't realize was I was actually on a very long border with the military isolationists. <laughs> and then I walked to a system, and suddenly they appeared, and I realized I had 12 planets that bordered this military isolationist. It was immediate war, or get rid of them all. <laughs> Look, guys, I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that man. would really suck. Yeah, and then the patch came out and it kind of destroyed the purpose of having the species combination that I had. Oh. do I want to do? I've just got one world that's really racist. Is this because that one guy that I have there? Is that yeah, it? Is that yeah, just... well he's, he's sitting there and making them all very un unhappy. But they just they just hate everything. Like They hate free migration, they hate that Xenos are allowed to be leaders, they hate our first contact protocol, they want us to just shoot everybody. <laughs> they they also but they also hate that we're in an offensive war. So they're like pacifist xenophobes. Uh I have some guys that actually are upset with me being in a uh defensive war or sorry, offensive war. But that's also because um, apparently those specific populations also had some bar bombardment that happened to them at one point. So I mean, I can understand. I can understand. You don't want they don't want to be bombed again. <laughs> No, they're just like, no, this is bringing back it's PTSD. Just for these guys. <laughs> I'm serious, that's exactly what's happening with them. I'm fairly impressed, actually. This is a Fair really right. slow motion battle. What are the RLS? The what now? RLS something? Dunno. I don't know, it was like a science ship, and, well, they're dead now. <laughs> I well, don't actually you know. know who who owned those. No need to worry about it. Oh, ah, okay, cool, sure. I'm really enjoying the amount of migration. I think they've increased the chance of migration. Because before, people never really moved around, but now loads of people are moving System around. System survey complete. Yeah. Yeah. All over the beautiful Federation. I need better armies. Oh, 
kaputt. Who the hell are you? Care to elaborate, Mordred? Where are the Genogian Imperium? Oh, they're in the stripey system? Oh... Stripey system. <laughs> the one that's got like three people occupying it. They were trying to get me to attack Smoker, and I was confused by that because we're not allied and we have no defensive pact or anything. I was just like, what? Yeah, they like me. They clearly don't. <laughs> Wait, did you have a civil war? Who? Okay. Ah, uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did, about three of them. Oh, well, okay. Well, you know, I wasn't there for any of that. So. Oh yeah, you missed that. So I attacked him, broke him up a bit. Isil attacked him, broke him up a bit, and then he had like two civil wars. Oh, wow. I really like the new uh, diplomacy options that they've added. Um, shame that we probably won't get to see him too much um, with our current build, but I think a lot of early on would be really interesting, like being able to humiliate people as well as uh, just forcing pop-off planets. Yeah, I'm enjoying the upgrades that they've made so far. It still needs quite a bit. Yeah. Good start. Definitely a start. Oh, bloody hell. Why have I not improved any of this? Mistake. I had a bunch of systems that had no mining stations built. <laughs> oh, that sucks. And I have no idea how or when I've had them. I had a couple, <laughs> which was weird, because I know that I built them all before the end of my last play. If you run out of money, then the AI might destroy you. Yeah, maybe. Now, are the defensive packs easier to maintain? Um, it's one influence instead of two. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Our federation's only one and a half. So the federations are two. Mine's one and a half. Are you pacifist? No. You might have oh. a tech. Maybe. Mine's, uh, mine's two from the fed. Big two yeah, same. What have I got? Diplomatic oh, influence cost, it's xenophile. Probably it. It is. Twenty five percent. Must be good, isn't it? Not too shabby. I'm chasing this bloody army all over the galaxy. Yeah, they're faster. Yeah, their battleship keeps running away from me. <laughs> Come back! Yes, I want to destroy your battleship. Construction complete. Incoming transmission. Yeah, so... You're kind of an alliance, but you're just a fake alliance now. Yeah, mm -hmm. he won't join offensive wars. Clearly they'd run out of influence. Well, no, because now... I mean, they've all got defensive 
packs with each other, then that's two anyway. Yeah. Just not offensive. Yeah. And they're just they're just mitigating uh influence costs and allowing each other freedoms and not having to drag everybody into negative uh content for wars. Yeah. yeah. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to guess it's because Tome is pacifist, so he gets bonuses to trust. So he, we found out that in an alliance, you don't get all the diplomatic options. So he's left the alliance, doing more diplomacy mm -hmm. of his mm -hmm. own, and using yeah. the pacifist bonus. At least yeah. that's my guess. Yeah, um, because of my, I have two groups. Once I'm more militaristic, and once I'm more um, pacifist. My original group. Um, whenever I get into a war, one doesn't care. The other one get becomes super hippy. Rebellion <laughs> starts if the war keeps going on and on. So I just have about became... a billion different uh, population segments, but they're all tiny, so they have no power. Yes, yeah, I have loads as well. That's the problem with mine. I'm I'm a small group. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> oh. I don't. We were already out. Oh no, you left, didn't you? Uh, okay. System survey complete. Getting scared, Mordred? No, it's just recreating the alliance under a different name. Pretty much. Yeah, if not, not exactly. We won't give any difference to influence or anything like that. No, it just means that we all have our diplomatic options fully available. Oh yeah, I can have another rival. Maybe even two. I haven't even looked at that, because I'm also a militarist. <sighs> What's a quick way of checking how many rivals I have? Diplomatic mode. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. What do your rivals show up as? Diplomatic mode. Kind of like an orangey sort of color. Except it doesn't. Okay. Because I'm rivals with Igel and it's not showing. Orange is who's rival to you. It doesn't show who your rivals are. Well, I am rival to um, Magic Card Maker still, and it is showing orange for me. Yeah, but he's probably rival to you. Yes, he has. So Salmon? Is Salmon like people who have rivaled you? Then... Oh, that wouldn't make sense. No, Salmon... I have no idea. Not that you were... They, I don't know, strong discontent? <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Huh. Okay, that does show, if you mouse over it, it tells you what they've done. Yeah. Right, green is defensive pact. Yes. Orange is uh, have salmon. a to you. Yep, salmon is closed borders. Uh, really? Smoker, you close your borders to me? That's just rude. You only noticed it that now? It's <laughs> had so little consequence. <laughs> Look, Construction Kadraziri has open borders. It's very nice of you. Yeah. No problem. Closing you down, though. Oh, let's see, now that's a shame. No, not you. No. Juna. Oh. Construction complete. He closed his borders to me, so, you know, it's nothing personal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and they rivaled us. Oh, screw you then. I didn't close my borders to you. I did rival no, you then. The transport league might have done it, like when you were gone. Uh, oh, I suppose, yeah, they. they so much for free transport. What is this? <laughs> Construction Not complete. Free? You have to pay for it. Yay, I'm earning influence again. Alright, I'm getting 0. 0.9 from rivals, which would suggest to me I'm still lacking one. I don't think I get anything. Well, they, they give you differing amounts, and some of them give you 
Nah, Nothing at all. Yeah. yeah, there's no point me rivaling most people. <laughs> Not anymore. We were uh, talking that about it deal. when you were in your war. Ah, this is how I can tell. I'm rivals with Hyjal, Yaskavaz, and TFL. So I'm not rivals with you. Now I am. There we go. Wow, I got like one from rivaling Bussy. <laughs> it's because he's massive compared to you, isn't he? Yeah, not really. It's because he's a big empire, is what he means. Dude, what happens if I do that? Oh, this is perfect. Oh, you rivaled me. I purposely yeah, didn't. Yeah, I realized we didn't have rivals. Yeah. I thought we were cool, man. I thought we were cool. Oh, we're cool. I just rivaled you. I just want the influence. It's the same thing I did to Magic Card Maker. Oh, in that yeah. case. There's TFL. Yazgavaz. Where the hell are you? I mean, we're only like fighting over middle grounds. There you go. Damn, Battleship ran away again. There you go. <laughs> Just so we're under no illusions. <laughs> uh, okay, ships. now that happened. Well, you did it to me first. Whoa, 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 hold on a moment. No, no, there's a very distinct difference in what we did here. Uh-huh. I, I can declare you rival, but it doesn't mean, uh, actually it doesn't mean that. Did it already happen? Yeah, you close your oh. borders. That was tantamount oh. to... Oh, I didn't intentionally do that, I just wanted to grab the rivalry, but I suppose that does make sense that it automatically closed borders to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, not exactly what I was uh, wanting from that. I just wanted the influence, let's be honest here. <laughs> That's funny. Right. That's the that cruiser thing. must have been built one day before that spaceship was destroyed. Shall we uh, take a break or? Oh yeah, how soon till that? In 50 minutes at one. At one o'clock, yeah. That's okay. Yep, fine by me. Fine by me too. Okay, 50 minutes. Construction complete. When does the game start? Was it 2100 or 2200? 21, I think. We've played almost 200 years. I think. Don't quote it me. Mu it, must, it must be 2100 if... Um, Chaos had a leader that lived to 117. That is true. Yeah, I think I must be on like the very tail end of the second generation of leaders. Or even third. <clears throat> yeah, I had my, uh, <laughs> during our little tussle in the middle there, we had the mass exodus of, I lost two of my science leaders during that time. I'm just like, oh, Wow, stop doing this all at once, guys. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it took you know, 117 years, but still.
And the war is over. Congratulations. Now to tidy up my fleets. Do 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 Has the spaceport upgrades now started upgrading military power? Yes. I thought so. Which makes entire sense. I'm really surprised they didn't before. Yeah, agreed. I still wish they scaled in tech as well, but I don't think they do. 